Hi everybody and welcome back to Teachers Talk Money where I help teachers master their money in order to give back to themselves. As you guys can see, I'm trying out a little bit of a different background, so let me know what you think in the comments below if you like this one better or on my couch or any of the other backgrounds you've seen because I've definitely um, changed it up a lot on you guys. So I'm here today and I just want to give you a no spend at November update. So um, a lot of you have probably seen my No Spend November video where I explain what No Spend months are and I go through all of my rules for November. But I'm going to quickly reiterate my rules to remind you or to tell you if you have not yet seen that video. So my first rule is that there should be no unnecessary spending in my other category meaning I'm not buying any clothes or plants or any other miscellaneous things for the apartment or makeup or anything like that this month. My second rule is that I'm limiting takeout to three times a week at most um, or 13 times total. That is one where a lot of people have been like, you're limiting that to that much? And the answer is yes, people, I love takeout. <laughs> it's a huge problem. I love delicious food. I love not having to do dishes and taking a break from cooking. That probably isn't fair because Brian definitely does most of the cooking. So shout out Brian, gotta be real. So while that might not seem challenging to a lot of you, it is in fact challenging for me, although I will say I am trying to extra challenge myself and go for only getting takeout two nights a week if possible. Um, I have some exceptions to this no spend month. One of them was my birthday. I did get a birthday dinner, but Brian paid for it since it was my birthday, so that still remained a no spend day. Another one was any spending on my anniversary. Um, we are doing a dinner really late this month. Our anniversary was on November 5th. We're gonna do a, a dinner or a brunch this weekend, but we actually have a gift card to a restaurant that Brian's mom gave us a while ago, so we'll probably just use that. So hopefully that will still remain a pure, true no spend day, even though I have an exception for that. Um, I'm also accepting any early Christmas shopping. I have not yet done a lot of the Christmas shopping that I still have yet to do, but when I need to make those purchases, I'm still not considering it a spend day um, because this is something I was aware that I was gonna have to spend on and also I have saved for it already. And then of course there are the usual exceptions. Groceries do not count, gas does not count, paying bills does not count in my no spend challenge. My fourth rule for my no spend challenge is that I'm going to track all of my spending, which is something I kind of already do, but I usually don't put it out there and show it to you guys month to month. So I do want to kind of share it with you guys in order to have that extra layer of accountability this month. And then rule number five is that my goal is 18 days completely without any discretionary spending. So I just wanted to give you an update. Um, today is, what day is it? It's Saturday, November 14th. So I'm giving you this update about halfway through the month, although it is going to come out, um, I think this coming Thursday. So this will not be completely up to date by the time the video comes out, but this is just a little check-in for you. All right, so I made this little infographic thing that is going to be an Instagram post. Um, in the middle of the month and also when I officially finish the month to see if I met all of the goals. And as you can see, I only got, I only had two spend days last week and those were both for takeout. Um, so I actually went under my goal of takeout three times a week and only got it twice last week. And then so far this week, I've only gotten it two times. The jury is still out whether or not I will get food out today. So I may go under the goal again and only get it uh, two times this week, or I may order some Popeyes tonight and get it a third. That's okay, I have permission to, it's still within my goals, um, but I also do like exceeding my goals. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. I really haven't decided, nor have I looked in the fridge to see what food we have. <laughs> so, so far, so good. Um, I'm pleased with myself that I went under my goal the first week and I'm excited to see what we do this week too. 
But it's not just limiting takeout that I'm excited about. I'm also very excited about the fact that I haven't done any discretionary spending. Now, there is maybe one exception to this. In my other category, I do have a purchase for a butcher box, which is a meat subscription service. Um, Brian and I have been getting butcher box for the last mm, maybe six months and we don't get it every single month we probably get it every other month or every third month and it's been a pretty good way to affordably get I believe slightly more sustainable meat although I sense that it's not perfect but that is a whole topic for another day and I really like getting this because it makes planning for dinners a lot easier we can kind of plan around what we got in the box for that month and like I said, it lasts a long time. It's supposed to be a monthly subscription. We get it every second or third month. It's also kind of encouraged us to step out of our comfort zones with the meals and kind of change up what we're used to doing all the time. So that is really great also. And we kind of started it during a time where there was a promotion to get free ground beef with every order. So we get a little bit extra meat as well. So my half of this is $65. I technically ordered this in October, but it was billed during November and it did fit more nicely into my November budget, so I put it there. Technically it is discretionary spending, so in a way I may have sort of broke my no spend November. The reason I decided to still do it is that I knew it would encourage me to have more meals at home and make me less likely to spend money on takeout and delivery, which it has. So I don't know if I broke my nose by November or not. I feel like I didn't, so I don't know. Put in the comments below if I'm a cheater, I'll accept what you say. Anyway, my half of that box is $65 whenever it comes the month to get it. I've always put it in my other category because it's not, um, I never know what month it's gonna come up. It might be two months after, it might be three months or more depending on if we're traveling or any of those things. So because it's slightly inconsistent, I always have just kind of put it in my other category and then spent less on other things that month. And of course this month, I'm really not planning on using any money in that other category unless something um, necessary comes up that isn't discretionary. So yeah. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if I cheated and broke my No Spend November. Now, another fun thing I decided to do for you guys for No Spend November this year is to take note of all the things that I have talked myself out of buying um, because of No Spend November or just because I needed to talk myself out of buying it. So, so far I've only kind of tracked two main things where I was like actually really considering clicking purchase. Um, and did not because it's November. The first thing is plants. <laughs> and I have talked myself out of purchasing plants many times, like at least two times this month, which has ha for only been happening for a total of two weeks so far. Have I looked on my favorite website, which is Grounded Plants. It is an all women, all black owned plant company that is local to DC and they have an awesome selection and I really, really like them. I've gotten a lot of my plants from there. And it was so tricky this month, you guys, because Brian, one of my birthday gifts from Brian was a $25 gift card to Grounded Plants and I'm so excited to use it. But a lot of their plants that I want to get are over $25. So I could not just use that gift card to buy a plant and then pretend it didn't happen in no spend November because I technically didn't spend any money. I would actually have to spend some money. So I'm going to wait on it and also I'm waiting for them to do a restock because there's a specific plant I want to get. But yes, I have physically had to be like, Rachel, be strong, don't buy the plants. <laughs> It's just hard because they just added a peace lily and a cactus, which are two plants that I want but don't have. And it's just been hard, but it's okay. I'll get through it. We'll get through it together this no spend November. And then the other thing is sustainable fashion. There is um, a fitness influencer who I have followed forever, which is weird because 
I have not been into fitness for many years now, but this girl, this woman has really evolved and she's created um, many companies with her brand and she has specifically broken into the sustainable athleisure business. And I think her products are so amazing, or at least they seem so amazing. I've never bought any. <laughs> and they're affordable and 100% sustainable, which is really cool. Her brand of fashion is called Tala, T-A-L-A. -A. She's a UK-based influencer. And she recently had a restock for it and her the new line just looked so good and I wanted to buy it so badly. And then I was like, you cannot. It's November, wait till December. <laughs> so it's been really helpful. Those are the only two things that I've really had to talk myself out of buying this month, like legitimately. Um, so I'll let you guys know as more things come up as I'm sure they will, or it might just be a repeat of wanting to buy plants literally all the time. And I kind of wanted to do this to just show you guys that I'm absolutely not immune to temptation. And I think it's interesting because especially like with the whole takeout thing, I clearly set up these rules so that I could still be able to spend money on the things that are important to me in immediate moments. But with the purchases like plants or clothes or anything like that, the truth is that they can wait. And when you wait to purchase something, it's so much more likely that you're actually gonna really want that thing, which is pretty crucial, especially considering I had to talk myself out of buying athletic clothes and I don't work out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Um, follow my Instagram page for more updates. I'll be updating that little chart I showed you. Um, I'll put it up again here. I'll be updating my Instagram with that as the month goes on, which is kind of nerve wracking, but you know, here I am putting out all of my money information to the world. If you have any questions, comment down below with them or let me know how your No Spend November is doing if you are doing it along with me this year. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next week. Have an amazing week. Bye.